بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله this is the third lesson in the Surah Thalatha and we mentioned Surah Al-Asr and how Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab how he used that as evidence to support those four principles that he was meaning that he he mentioned and then we move to the portion of the treaties he mentions also as evidence the fact that Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala he entitled the chapter Bab al-Ilm qabla al-Qawli wal-Amal the chapter knowledge should precede actions and statements and in that chapter Imam Bukhari mentioned the ayat where Allah says fa'lam annahu la ilaha illallah wa staghfir li dhanbik Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says so know that there is no god there's no true god but Allah and ask forgiveness for your fault and then he said so one should start with knowledge before word and deeds. Ahabatifillah, this is very important that we understand that knowledge precedes actions and statements. So if you want to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly, you have to have ilm. This is the importance of why we always say ilm. The Prophet wasallam said, Man sallaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilmin sahalallahu lahu tariqan ala jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to jannah. So what? We have to have knowledge. We have to have ilm. We have to have ilm before we speak about Islam. We have to have ilm before we understand who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and how to worship Him properly. This comes from knowledge. This comes from studying the Quran. And it says comes from studying the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Otherwise it will be easy to be misled by the people. People can have you there are people who say La ilaha illallah. There are many people who say La ilaha illallah in Egypt, in Sudan, in Yemen, in Morocco, in Algeria, who say La ilaha illallah and they go to the grave and they supplicate to the grave. They pray and make dua to the people in the grave. And they say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu an Muhammad Rasulullah. So what do we say about those people? We say that this is kufr al-akbar, this is the kufr, that, that this is shirk al-akbar. This takes you out of the fold of Islam when you do that, even if you say la ilaha illallah. So it shows us the importance of knowledge that people, if they stay ignorant, they will do anything and they still call themselves Muslims. Is it okay if I say, if I take this rock and I say that this is a god? There are people who take rocks as gods. Is it okay if I say I take the cow to be a god? No, but there are people, there are whole world communities. The Hindus, they worship the cow. Is it okay if I take now this plastic garbage that we find and I say this is my god and I'm going to pray to it and I'm going to make the waf for it and I'm going to pay zakat to it and on its behalf? Is that okay? No, but there are people who say La ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah. They say the shahada, but they don't practice it because they worship other than Allah. So a habitifillah, this mainly comes from what? It comes from ignorance. It comes from jahiliyyah. It comes from not knowing. That's why we have to have knowledge. The Prophet wasallam said <coughs> in a sahih hadith, he said, Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. So if you want to have knowledge, of, uh, if you want understanding of the religion, it comes from knowledge. If you want to be loved by Allah, then it comes through knowledge and practicing that knowledge. That's, that's what is going to raise your station with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So one should start with knowledge before word and action. How can you call to something if you don't have knowledge of it? Can you give dawah if you don't have knowledge? Because then you don't know what you're calling to. You don't know who you're calling to. You don't know why you're calling. 
But all this comes from knowledge. It comes from knowing the Quran. We know our divine purpose. What is our purpose in this creation? We know it through knowledge. What is the purpose? It's to worship Allah alone. How do we know that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi -kareem, wa ma wa I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. We know that through knowledge. It comes through ilm. Is it important to seek knowledge? Of course it is. And knowledge of what? That's the first principle. What is that knowledge? We should have knowledge of what? Worship, uh, knowledge of Allah? Knowledge of the Prophet ﷺ and knowledge of Islam, Islam in general. Islam with its textual proofs. That's the first uh, pillar from those pillars, those four uh, the four fundamentals that we mentioned. So we'll end there and keep it brief and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.